Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So something was announced today that I did not expect. And it is from a company that is very well known, but at the same time, just isn't the company that it used to be. And that is none other than Motorola. And what they just announced today completely blew me away. Uh, and that is a brand new Motorola Razor phone for 2020. Now, this is something that I didn't think was going to happen anytime soon because the last time Motorola tried to reintroduce the Razer um, as an Android phone, it really wasn't that successful, even though it was super thin. And in this case, it is not only super thin and small, it's basically almost the same type of clamshell design as the original Motorola Razer which I had and I think many people had because that is one of the best selling flip phones of all time. But what's also really unique about this is it's one of the few new phones that actually uses this bendable, foldable OLED screen and it uses it in a way that is different from the current Samsung Galaxy Fold and also the Huawei where it's more of a tablet design. This is a flip phone design and whenever it flips out, it becomes a 6.2 inch OLED screen Android smartphone. And I'd have to say, I'm pretty excited about this. And mainly for the fact that its design is so nostalgic, it's classic, and it is something that a lot of people who remember the Motorola Razr will be happy to see. Uh, but at the same time, it kind of shows where we are heading when it comes to this whole foldable technology where this one looks really practical meaning that it's a phone first and foremost whereas with the other iterations of the Samsung Galaxy Fold and the Huawei I just don't think quite as many people might be interested in having a foldable tablet I think most people would rather get something that is more of a phone first and that also has this foldable functionality and then maybe in the future, as this technology continually gets better, we'll be wearing foldable technology all around us, you know, as clothing and so forth. And so this was really impressive from a design standpoint. And uh, I would love to have this foldable phone for the fact that number one, I like the design, but secondly, it just makes things more portable. As our smartphones are getting so much bigger, it, I mean, even though I love the, the huge screens and everything else, it's not easy to use, uh, not easy to carry around. Whereas in this case, Motorola kind of gives you the best of the both worlds. They give you something that is portable. And then when you fold it out, since it is a 6.2 inch screen, that's still going to be a pretty big screen for the majority of people out there. So your media consumption is not going to be compromised. Now about the only compromises that you see with this Motorola Razr comes in the overall specs. You know, as far as I can tell, it is an older Snapdragon 700 series processor. It has six gigs of RAM. Uh, it has a very small battery. I think it's 2,500 milliamps. And it only has one main camera, which doubles as the selfie camera as well whenever you fold it down. And in terms of the speakers, everything is at the bottom for the best value in domain names, check out Namecheap, where you could get a domain for an entire year for less than $10, plus get WhoisGuard privacy protection for free. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. And it only has a USB-C port, so there is no headphone jack. And there is a secondary screen on top, uh, but it's very basic in what it does. And so I don't think people are going to buy this uh, mainly for the hardware in terms of the power. Um, even though this phone itself is extremely expensive, I think it's going to be released in January 2020 at $1,500. So very much like the Samsung Galaxy Fold and the, uh, and the Huawei, you know, foldable tablets and whatever other foldable electronics we get at the beginning, it's going to be expensive. And so this is definitely not meant for the mainstream but I could easily see the next iteration of this Razer OLED foldable phone to be a lot more affordable later on. And my prediction is this is going to be 
a really good seller, maybe not initially, but future iterations, uh, because it goes back to the whole uh, functionality. You know, I think this is something that would be appealing for a lot of people. And at the same time, it's still a phone and not this phone slash tablet hybrid. And so those are my thoughts on the Motorola Razr. Uh, I would love to have one, but I'm not going to shell out $1,500. But for me, I mainly would love to get it uh, first and foremost because of the iconic design. I had a Motorola Razr. But secondly, it's really using this whole foldable technology in a way that makes sense for people who use their phone. So if you actually had any thoughts in this, whether you were an original Motorola Razr user, or maybe you're new to the whole Razr brand and you're interested in this whole design, be sure to do that in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.